we are in the middle of a, a pandemic right now. We're in a crisis, okay? There is a food shortage. There is a toilet paper shortage. We're hungry, all right? We're hungry, and we need to catch our own food so that we can eat it and we can stay alive. We will right? not be victim of the pandemic. Mm -mm, okay? Not us. We're putting our skills to the test as avid anglers to survive, to provide for ourselves, catch the fish, lean protein, because my local supermarket was out of chicken. We don't need Big Y. No. We don't need Market Basket. No, no. no. Whole Foods? <laughs> Forget about them. Who needs Whole Foods? Whole Foods. You know what? Here's a whole, whole well, bunch you, of crap. You know what I got? That is. Real foods. So, what we do know, Tony, is that this place is loaded with rainbow trout. And rainbow trout are delicious, aren't they? Yeah, super delicious. Super delicious. Super. Magically, magically delicious. So we're out here for one mission today. Well, that, that, was, that was a rainbow. <laughs> That was a rainbow. <laughs> Magically delicious. I didn't know that was a cut. <laughs> that was a cut. No, no, no. That's a, that's a rainbow. <laughs> yes, we have one mission out here today. Our mission is to catch food, bring it home, and eat it so we can survive through this crisis old time. Water temp today is, uh, is pushing a brisk 42.5 degrees Fahrenheit, mm. um, which takes bass off the table as far as them being, you know, super active. They're still, they're still at the ski slope. Um, but still the trout, the trout are going to be actively feeding in this water temp. High in the water column, close to the surface. We don't have any insects hatch yet, so I think the odds are in our favor. What do you... Big time, dude. The odds are definitely in our favor. You know why? Because we're hungry. Yeah. Yep. The hungry fisherman gets the fish. So, so we're, we're going to see if we can get some fish, then we're going to try to cook the fish, with what limited stuff we have at, at the house. Right, well, right. we don't have much to cook with, dude. We got some peanut butter, maybe, I don't, hopefully some lemon juice. To be honest with you, I don't even think I have salt. I, I think I used up all my Himalayan pink salt the other day. Damn. Yeah, oh, well. yeah, I gotta hit up Crap. the Himalayan people. I'm ready, dude. I'm ready to get at them. Yeah, I'm, I'm hungry. Let's go. Let's go. We had one mission today, it was come out, it was to catch some dinner so we could eat, and we did. Oh, on the purple larvae, on the purple larvae. Dude, smashed it, look at that thing. Look at that, drop shot in the purple larvae. Oh, we're in a time of crisis right now, there's a food shortage, toilet paper shortage. We're out here doing some rainbow fishing to stock the fridge, all right? Successful mission so far. We got one in the hole and more to go. Dude was hungry for the purple larvae. They can't resist it. Look at the size of that bait. This dude came up and smashed it. Non-essential businesses are closed. You know, your bait shop's closed. You're, you know, like we couldn't go out and get power bait, you know, so we're kind of working with everything that we already have. Trout fishing, you know, you're looking for a couple different things as far as what's in your tackle box. Flutter spoons, spinners, um, small little jerk baits. The body water we're going out to hit is a stocked body of water so we know these the, the stocked fish is really going to be hungry um and probably easier to catch on power bait so but we don't have any of that today so we're gonna have to make do with what we got and i'm going to use this old flutter spoon that's what i got right now half of the pink rainbow you know sticker is hanging off um that's what i'm gonna throw first <laughs> Got one? Tell us about Dude, now we can both eat, thank God. John is clearly, clearly much larger, so I need a couple more of these fish sticks. Because I'm gonna still be hungry after this guy. The 
jerk bait, bro. Smash the jerk bait. Out here doing some rainbow fishing. Aggressive, aggressive rainbow. Ate it. Didn't expect him to go for the jerk like that. Going to crappy bait. John's beat me with a drop shot and a jerk bait. Clearly they want some bass technique, so I'm gonna throw a crappie bait. Yep, that's right. That little skin of Papa. Let's go. Rookies don't count. Oh. Oh. Wow. Brookies don't, don't count. What do you mean they don't count? <laughs> Some... Wow, look at that. Got the brookie on the chartreuse. Wow. Yeah. Oh, what do you know about the money pit? Oh. They found anything there yet? No, no. It's my Tuesday night special, nine o'clock. Oak Island. No one ever finds anything in that money pit. Ever. Ever. It's a scam. Every every time they show you something, it's like the only it's, show it's, on you TV. know what it is? It's the it's the it's the English guy from Florida, the metal detecting guy. He's like, oh, this is really old. It could be it could be the Ice Age. This is pieces from the Ice Age. Yeah, which is good. That means it could be old. I mean he finds a nail. I love he, him, dude. Dude, you love dude, I love he, him. Oh my god! It's from the 17th century! I think that's old. I think we're in the 1700s. 1700s? Then he goes to the, to the, to the, this is what really like, right? He goes to the blacksmith, right? Like, but. The blacksmith is the one who knows everything. Yeah, but who says his black, dude, that could be just like a fake storefront, right? And in the back they're selling rock candy, right? You don't know if that guy's a real blacksmith. And what does he tell him? What is, he gives them exactly what they want to hear. This must be 17th century because there's some extra bismuth in there. Listen, bro. This is between five and 800 years old. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy. Just show me the gold. Just show me the gold. Oh, gold. Third rainbow on the chartreuse. Yeah, Big Jim. Got a, got a big shout out, big shout out to Big Jim on the, on the shore. That's a little guy. That's just a little guy. We it's call them guy. fish sticks. It's an appetizer right here. Nice. Yes, hit the limit on the rainbow trout today. That's it, bro. Boom. Boom. Hell yeah. We in there. We in there. Yes, we gonna eat. when you have a perfectly good countertop right there, right? <laughs> Only in our kitchen can we do that. All right, Tony Childs, what kind of concoction are you mixing up for this, for this fish? It calls for oil, salt, pepper, and I've added a bit of my boyfriend, Chef, Paul Proudhon's magic black and red fish. Just for a little touch of spice. Cause boy does he bring that to my life. 
Maybe a little too much. Put it all together, and we're gonna put that aside. Okay, so Tony Childs, we have our uh, saute mix, we have our onion. What do we do next? Well, step one is you have your pan. Step two, pan. Your pan. Step two is to put your fishes in the pan. Okay. You want me and stuff them with a half of onion. Okay, I can do that, I think. One fish. Some raw onion going in here. Hold on, hold on. I forgot to me mother's ma magic anti-stick spray. Thank you, thank you, Tony Childs. Okay, get one fish. Mm. Lastly, the recipe calls for our oil and seasoning. The magic blend. Magic blend. Do I just, and just go ahead? And with your hand, lightly brush it on. That's kind of a lot there. Today's catch is gonna go in the oven for 20 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Remember, when baking, you must put it on the top shelf. Ah. Now I checked this a minute ago and it wasn't quite ready and now it's been a little over five minutes and I think it should be. That is done. I didn't tell when it's done. One way is to open up the fish a little bit and look in there. If it's red to the bone or the flesh is pink, it's not quite done. And another method is to cut right along this back fin and pull it out. If that comes out easily, it's done. The fish should be juicy, not dry and flaky. 20 minutes and it's done. Ooh. Tell you what, it smells like trout. And there you have it, trout meunier. Perfectly cooked to a temperature of 145. That's very reassuring. That's great. All right, just go, I'm just gonna go ahead and I think, right? Ooh, oh wow. Can I go skinless? Well, there's nothing. Yeah, that's good. Bon appetit! Bon appetit! Thank you for stopping by Get Bent's Kitchen. Hopefully you enjoyed our rainbow trout catch of the day. Bon appetit! Seriously, y'all, thank you for watching the video today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you like this one, make sure you check out the rest of the videos on our page, and please do not forget to subscribe to our channel so we can keep coming and making you delicious meals like this. Thanks a lot, everybody. Bon appetit.